So I've got my empty project. Uh, I'm going to import the simple third person controller. Um, usually you would just hit the button that's right here, import into Unity, but I've got the Unity package, so I'm just going to drag and drop that into my assets folder. Uh, either way, you're going to get this import dialog, and I'm just going to import everything. And that's going to give me the third person controller folder with everything I need in it. Uh, right off the bat, we can look at this demo scene. It's got ramps and platforms and different things. Uh, one thing we got to do real quick is import our input settings. Just double click the Unity package and that'll give us the project settings, input settings that we need for the controller and the buttons. Uh, but I'm ready to go. I can look around, I can move around, I can jump, I can go up ramps, I can run, I can go down ramps. Everything's looking pretty good. Everything's contained on the one game object, the character game object. You can see her. She's got a character controller and a model with some animations. Everything's on this third person controller script. You can see all these different settings and the layer that she interacts with. But let's say I want to make it from scratch. I'm just going to delete her really quick. And I'm going to turn on the canvas just so I can see what my buttons are. And then I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call it character. And then all I need to do is add this one component, the third person controller script. And that's going to give me the character controller too. And I'm going to go ahead and add a capsule just so I can see. i got to change this layer to ground layer because everything that I want my character to jump off of needs to be on this ground layer. So these platforms, these ramps, these cubes, everything I want my player to not just stand on, but be able to jump off of needs to be on this ground layer. And then I just pass that to her. Now I can jump, run around. You can see I'm running, moving on platforms falling down. And you can see there's a little bit of slide when I'm on these slopes. Um, it's not very much right now. I'm going to go ahead and tab so I can see my mouse and I'm going to play with some of these settings. I can turn the camera off so I can implement something else entirely for the camera. Um, you can kind of see that the camera interacts with the environment. I can turn that off and then it'll just go through the walls. Uh, back to the slip, slipping, I can adjust how fast he slips down this ramp by adjusting the slip speed right here. See right now it's not very much, I can turn it up to where he's really sliding down and he can even barely just get up now. I have to really fight it. But I slide right down. Uh, another thing about the camera is I can adjust how far to the left and the right it focuses. So it's kind of an over-the-shoulder thing. I can also adjust the up-and-down position of it to where it's looking more below or more above him.